Hello, if you're new, my name's Samantha, and today I wanted to make a recap of my second trimester of pregnancy. After I finished my first trimester, I did a recap of all the symptoms that I felt during the first trimester, so I thought I would do the same thing for the second trimester. Overall, I have not had a super eventful pregnancy. It has been fairly easy so far compared to some things that I've seen other people complain about. Um, but I do think that the second trimester was worse than the first. I think a lot of people say that the second trimester is easier. It was not the case for me. I don't know if I just had a really easy first trimester and that's why the second one is so much worse for me. Um, I had the morning sickness, but I never threw up. And I just was kind of used to the symptoms, I guess, that I was feeling in the first trimester because um, they were very similar to the symptoms that I felt on my cancer medication when I was um, doing cancer treatment and I had just gotten off of those medicines before I got pregnant. So I'm just gonna go week by week. Right now when you're watching this I am 28 weeks pregnant so moved into the third trimester. I've seen things that say that the third trimester starts in the 28th week which would mean 27 weeks pregnant and then I've seen people say third trimester starts when you're 28 weeks pregnant. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm like doing an extra week of the second trimester if I tell you what happened during the 27th week, but I'm just going to because I don't, I don't really understand these things. <laughs> it says when you enter the second trimester, you're around 14 weeks pregnant. Okay, so when I was 14 weeks and 15 weeks, I basically had the same symptoms. I was just tired a lot. 15 weeks is when I really, um, started actually noticing kind of a baby bump. Um, it was around the time that we got to Alaska. We were moving from Virginia to Alaska. So kind of during that move, I was wondering, does my stomach look like this because I'm gaining weight just from eating like bad fast food on this entire 10 day road trip that we had to take? Or is it because I'm pregnant? So. When we got to Alaska and we finished unpacking everything, I realized that I'd really only gained like one pound over the entire 10 days. So I was like, oh, okay, so this bump that I see is probably from the baby, not from me like gaining five pounds. <laughs> People usually say that you start to feel less fatigue in the second trimester. I really think that I felt more fatigue in the second trimester than I did in the first. When I was 16 weeks pregnant, I kind of had the same symptoms. I just felt really tired. But I did write down that that is when I first thought I felt the baby move. I wasn't sure because I haven't been pregnant before. This is my first pregnancy, so I didn't really know what it felt like. At that time, it just kind of felt like my stomach was like gurgling um, and kind of just like what you feel like when after you eat a meal. Um, but it wasn't always happening after I ate a meal. It was kind of happening at random times and um, especially at night, like when I was just still laying down. I'm pretty sure now that that is probably what I was feeling, but the movements weren't super strong, so I was not sure at the time. 17 weeks, I wrote that I was feeling a little bit better, but I was having some asthma issues at night. Basically, once we got to Alaska, I started having all these asthma issues. Um, I was sick on the road trip here, so it could have to do with me getting sick. My COVID tests were negative, but it could have still been COVID, not positive. I wrote down that I was feeling dizzy, that, but that's a symptom that I kind of felt through the entire second trimester. Uh, basically now I've learned that I need to stand up slower and uh, I need to eat a lot more than I think that I need to eat. I'm not someone who really eats that much, I guess. And when I got pregnant, I really just did not realize how much you have to eat. And I am still learning how much I need to eat. Um, I just need to make sure that I have something in my stomach all the time. And when we were out like exploring Alaska, doing fun things, I just didn't think about having to eat. And then I would realize, oh my gosh, I'm starving. Like this is awful. And when I got hungry, it just was really bad. <laughs> I wrote down that at 17 weeks and five days, I felt really, really big kicks. I was looking at this online and this seems to not be normal to feel kicks that big that early, um, but Gray could feel them. We had just been on a really long flight from Houston to Anchorage and that flight was super uncomfortable for me. 
Um, I just did not feel comfortable in any position. And then when we got home and I was laying in bed, I just felt these really big kicks. And I was just like, this is so weird. It kind of felt like a muscle was like contracting, but it really couldn't have been that. And at first I was like, is this the baby? Because I was like, I've never felt her kick this hard. And even like my midwife was like, oh, if you feel pulsing, it's probably just your heartbeat. But looking back on it now, I'm like 100% sure that it was the baby kicking because first of all, the spot that she was kicking in is the spot that she loves kicking in. She always kicks right there <laughs> where it was happening. It's like her favorite spot to kick on the left side of my stomach. And it was super strong and it was super weird, but she must have just gotten into like a weird position from being on the plane and just... I just felt it stronger than ever before. When I would look online, it would say like, your partner probably won't feel your baby kick until like 20 to 24 weeks pregnant. And so the fact that I was feeling it not even 18 weeks pregnant was like making me really second guess myself because I was like, I, it says I'm not supposed to feel this. She never kicked like that hard and that much for a while, like now she does, but um, it took her, oh, it took Gray a while to be able to feel her again, which is another reason why I was like, maybe that just wasn't her kicking, maybe something weird was going on, but like, no, it, she definitely was. I'm being really insistent about it because I know I'm gonna get comments from people being like, no, you're wrong, like, that wasn't the baby, you weren't feeling that. Um, and the reason I think that is because be, I was searching so much on the internet to see if anyone else felt their baby kick that hard at that time and I did find some people who did and they were like posting in message boards and stuff and like people were like yeah I felt that at 16 weeks like even before me some people were feeling hard kicks and, it, and people were just like it really just depends on where the baby is in your stomach but even on those message boards people were like no you're wrong like you didn't feel your baby and I'm just like okay Okay, for 18 weeks, I wrote down that I was peeing every time I coughed. I was kind of sick with like the asthma stuff and it was causing me to cough. And then I wrote down that I felt the baby at midnight every night. Like that was the time that she was the most active, kind of when I would be laying down in bed, um, about to go to sleep. Greg couldn't feel these kicks, but I could feel these kicks. So she clearly like got back down into like a more regular position. <laughs> 19 weeks I wrote down, I need to get used to the uncomfortable feeling when putting on socks or pants. Yeah, so it was like an uncomfortable feeling every time I would bend over to put on socks or underwear or pants or something. And I just wouldn't be used to it. So like I would like start to do it really fast and I'd be like, oh, like it wasn't like super painful. It was just uncomfortable. And my stomach wasn't super big, so like it wasn't like it was like hard for me to do it at that time, but it was like if you go too fast, it's like kind of an uncomfortable feeling. And so I had to like remind myself every time I did that to like do it slow and like put my leg over to the side and it kind of helped me out. At 20 weeks, I wrote that she was kicking a lot more. I kept like accidentally peeing my pants whenever I would sneeze and my hunger was like so much greater and I also needed to pee just a lot more than before. A lot of people say that they don't have problems with like needing to use the bathroom a lot until the third trimester. It really started for me around 19 or 20 weeks and it has just been so bad. Like I need to pee so often, it's insane. And I'm not even a person that used to have to pee very often and maybe that's why like it feels like it's so bad for me but like I seriously feel like I have to pee every time I stand up like every time like I readjust into a new position normally I do not have to pee very often like whenever I'm on a road trip with other people they always have to go away more than I do yeah and I again I was still kind of sick at this time so I was sneezing a lot so like whenever I would have like a really big sneeze, like a little bit of pee would come out and it was super annoying. <laughs> Around now is like just when I really started getting hungry and I just, I needed to listen to my body more, but I just didn't realize. If we were trying to plan a day, I just didn't factor the food in like I should have been because normally I don't. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can make it that long without eating. Yeah, I'm a normal person, but no, I needed to eat like all the time and I just was not used to it. So whenever we were doing activities, 
um, like some people came to visit us. It was so bad. I needed to eat <laughs> and I was so tired too. 21 weeks I wrote, end of the week I start to feel a lot of stretching in my stomach. I had red dots on my stomach and still a lot of peeing. <laughs> um, yeah, so around 20, 21 weeks I started getting like these little red blotches on my stomach and it kind of looked like pimples were going to start forming but they never did. It just kind of was these little pink red dots and they weren't like raised. They were just flat on the stomach. I was like, what is this? And so I was like, it could be like the start of stress marks happening or maybe like my skin is just really dry and it's like irritated. I don't really know for sure still, but they went away. <laughs> and yeah, 21 weeks is really when my stomach started stretching. Like I would stand up and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like it feels like I don't have enough like space w for my skin. It was pretty dry. I needed to like moisturize a lot. And I don't know why 21 weeks because it, like my stomach is way bigger now than it was then, but for some reason that's just the time that like things really needed to stretch, I guess. <laughs> 22 weeks I said still red dots on my skin. Skin of right breast looks weird. Maybe stretch marks. Um and then Gray could start really feeling big kicks. I think Gray could have felt the kicks before, but our baby was like super, she still is. Like she'll do like three really big kicks in a row and then she'll just stop. And so I'm like, oh great, she's kicking. And then he comes over and puts his hand there and she's just, she's not doing anything anymore. <laughs> and so Gray thinks that she hates him because every time he puts his hand there, like he, ne he never feels anything. So, but around 22 weeks, um, she was kicking enough so that he could feel it sometimes. My right breast is the breast that's kind of growing more than my left one. I think it's because of all of the, the, the surgery and radiation and stuff that was done to my left breast during cancer treatment. Um, so I think that that's why I have like kind of some pink, um, purpley stuff going on on the underside of my right breast that I guess is just from it growing a lot because it is humongous and it's way bigger than my left one now. <laughs> if you have normal breasts that haven't gone through cancer treatment, maybe both of them will do this for you. I don't know. 23 weeks I wrote down heartburn. Um, I did have like a really big problem with this for a couple of weeks. Um, now it's a little bit more manageable and I think I might just be better at managing it now and more used to it and just like taking medication and just eating food that isn't going to cause that as much. I wrote that the red dots were starting to go away and I realized that Braxton Hicks contractions were Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, I don't know how long they had been going on before this, but clearly they were going on because um, my stomach would just like start to get really tight and hard and I was like, that's just so weird. And then it would just stop and I'd be like, okay, whatever. And then like later down the road, I was like, oh, wait, maybe this is Braxton Hicks. But I was like, it doesn't hurt. It feels like nothing. And I don't even notice it most of the time when it's going on. And so then like, I looked it up and asked my doctor and they were like, yeah, it, like, it doesn't hurt. So that's probably what it is. Um, so that's when I realized that. And I wrote down blurry vision. Um, basically my eyes have been dry and my vision has just been a little blurry. Um, very similar to the blurry vision stuff that I had when I was on cancer treatment. I'm sure when the hormones go back to normal, then the vision will go back to normal just like last time. 24 weeks, I wrote heartburn, sore feet and knees. Whenever I would go walk like long distances, my feet would hurt a lot more than normal. And yeah, that's basically it. They weren't like super, super sore, but it was very noticeable. <laughs> 25 weeks, I wrote, I was feeling even more kicking. And I could see the movement like just by looking at my stomach. So like I have like a video of her moving um, at 25 weeks in my stomach. I think that I started feeling less tired around 25 weeks. And since then it's gotten better. I'd say for the majority of the second trimester, I've just, I was just exhausted. 25 weeks, I think it was starting to get a lot better. Though still I have some days where I'm just super tired. Um, obviously you can have good and bad days. Everybody does even when you're not pregnant. I think in general it's better now. 
And then 26 weeks I wrote hip pain at night and lower left pain in my stomach. So I basically have been having some problems with my left hip and like the left side of my stomach. I think it's all related to the hips, um, kind of like stretching and stuff like that. And like round lig ligament pain or whatever. It's not too bad, but it's worse at night. Sometimes it'll like wake me up. I have hip pain on my side that I think is just from sleeping. A lot of things that I've read said that like since you're you have like a big stomach now, your body, like your back and your hips are just not used to like that weight distribution. So you have to like sleep, try finding sleeping positions um, by like putting pillows under you and stuff that will help you not feel as much pain while you're sleeping. I haven't really had much back problems, but the hip, the hip problems have woken me up multiple times in the middle of the night. And then at 27 weeks I wrote getting kicked in the ribs really hard. Around 26 weeks she started really kicking me up in my ribs, but 27 weeks um, I was like sitting on the couch one day and she just like kicked me so hard in the ribs. I was like wow this is going to get so much worse when she gets bigger. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I wrote still hip pain at night. I wrote overall second trimester, a lot of dizziness, a lot of tiredness. Yeah, I never passed out, but there were many times when I felt like I was going to pass out. And it a lot of times happened after like I didn't eat enough. So I'm getting a lot better now at making sure I eat. That might be helping with the tiredness also, I don't know. Um, but overall, I think I'm just getting better at being pregnant. Yeah, so that was my second trimester recap. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down below and subscribe to my channel if you want. Um, October is coming up. That's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm going to be making a lot of videos about breast cancer, but I will still be making pregnancy related content through that month as well. So yeah, stick around and yeah, that's all. Bye.